I'm ready to add another page. So at the bottom, you might notice I added another page. I'm just gonna tap on this and press delete, and it will delete that slide. And then on the right side, I wanna press another one. Now I already started my credits, so as I go, I'm gonna add more things about my credits. But I'm gonna go right here, I'm gonna keep that on there, and I'm gonna choose layout and decide how I want it to look. I'd like to do the caption, or I could do any of these, okay? Now if I do full screen, notice that there's a plus in the upper left hand corner. This is gonna control my background. So if I want to start this out and want people to understand that the developer of a paperclip came from Norway, I can actually add a background here of something from Norway. So I can look at all of these and decide Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat. Or, you know, I could add any of these different things that have to do with Norway. I'm gonna wanna choose something that makes sense. So if I use this one, there, that looks kind of cool. And then I can start adding more information, like I could start adding text. And as we do this, this video is gonna be kind of small. So it's gonna be like, a little bit of information, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And so as I press the play button now, you can see. So I'm setting it up. Now I'm working on page three. So as I look here at my facts, Johan went to many places. And in the beginning, the paperclip, not, we always think of a paperclip as something you would put on paper but the paperclip actually was a national symbol. And some Norwegians or people from Norway, the Patriots wore them on the outside of their clothing to tell people that they were resistance of the German Nazis. I thought that was really crazy. I didn't understand that at all. So as I go here, I'm gonna be including some of those facts because it's important to tell that theme. So in the corner of the screen, I'm gonna press on the plus and I'm gonna choose another picture from Norway and it's neat how it's all saved in here. Now I'm gonna add some more text. And I'm just gonna write in war time, people, war, paper clips on their clothes so others would know they resisted the Nazis. With this layout, I can actually have two different text boxes. So as I was reading here, that even though in wartime, some people wore paper clips on their clothes in order to um, identify if they were with the Nazis or not with the Nazis. If you know anything about the Nazis, the Nazis were not a group you wanted to participate with. What's neat about this is, as I read later on, at some point, the Nazis made it illegal to wear a paper clip. Just gonna add this on here. The Nazi group made it illegal to wear a paper clip on, on your clothes. And so you can pretty much um, think about what might happen if you were caught. Okay, so this page right here has two sets of words. Now you might notice that I have one set that's bigger and one set that's smaller. So it would be really important for me to make sure that I keep it the same size if I can. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. Or maybe just make sure that as I'm doing this, they're the same size. I don't know, that still looks about the same. You could make this first one bigger and the second one smaller. Now, so far, if I want to see what it looks like. Now, as I'm working, what's really cool about this is I can change the layout of the slides. So if I want this slide to be over here, I can just press on it and drop it there. See how I did that? So if you want to make many slides and then figure out what the sequence is, that's fine. As long as, as you're doing it, you are really thinking about what starts first in the story, what comes next. So 
as you've been working throughout your schooling in elementary school, you've been working on sequencing and how to order, order, organize a book and how to organize events in a life of someone. And